All right, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to today's webinar on Integrate CMS Content into Lightning Communities with CMS Connect. Thank you for joining. We're very excited to share this information with you today. I'm Nisha Bakshi, and I'm on the Developer Marketing Team here at Salesforce. Today, we're joined by Shipra Shreyasi, an engineer in the Community Cloud team, who's been working on building a first-class product in CMS Connect implementation, and also by Jagdish Madilla, who is a full-stack web application engineer currently based out of Hyderabad, India. They'll be speaking about the benefits of bringing Community Cloud into your organization and give you an insider's view on how you can streamline your development lifecycle by adopting Community Cloud. Just as a reminder, everyone has been muted. If you have a question, please ask it in the question window of GoToWebinar. We will try to get to every question, either individually or aloud, during the Q&A session at the end. Before I begin, just a quick note that when considering future developments, whether by us or by any other solution provider, you should always base your purchasing decisions on products and features that are currently available. Also, when we want to be social, please keep the conversation going on social media. We're on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and use the hashtag, hashtag SalesforceDevs in all of your posts. And with that, we're ready to get started with today's session, Integrate CMS Content into Lightning Communities with CMS Connect. Hi, I'm Shipra, and uh, agenda of today's session is deep dive into CMS Connect feature. CMS Connect helps you display content from third-party external content management system in your Salesforce Lightning communities in a secured and uh, performant way. This capability allows your CMS and uh, communities to coexist without uh, duplicating your content management processes and have same branding experience in communities without having to recreate the content. CMS Connect can pull content from pretty much any CMS provider, including Adobe Experience Manager, WordPress, Drupal, Sitecore, SDL, as few examples. We have built two types of connectors, HTML and JSON. CMS Connect HTML connector helps to bring fully rendered HTML web content like header, footer, banner into communities. It's rendered via URL and content having cross-origin resource sharing enabled as brought uh, real-time client site. Architecture is built on HTML and HTTP standards, so it's not a provider-specific connector. The way it works is you provide public CMS server information in CMS setting, and during client-side rendering, XHR call is done to get the content. We provide a way of injecting external JavaScripts and style sheets associated with the HTML into communities by passing it through local service. Locker service is a powerful security feature for a Lightning component, which helps prevent component from causing excesses and other similar security issue. Through the HTML connector, we also support rendering personalized content from Adobe Experience Manager by exchanging client contexts between communities and AM. Coming to CMS Connect JSON Connector, it provides a way of bringing external CMS content data like blogs, articles, files, news into communities using JSON API. And we provide presentation capabilities for building the UI for it. Architecture consists of providing pre-built layouts and JSON data is retrieved through client-side XHR data provider for public content bound to layout using JSON data binder and rendered in communities. For authenticated content, call out to external system is made through a server-side proxy. Uh, moving to the demo, handing it over to Jagdish for a demo of uh, CMS Connect HTML. Thank you, uh, Shipra, for a brief overview on CMS Connect HTML and JSON feature as a whole. Uh, this demo I'm going to cover CMS Connect HTML and followed by uh, Shipra going to cover his JSON part of it. And in HTML, I'm going to split it into two parts. One is like um, bringing external CMS content as such, like HTML header, footer, and banner. 
and then i move on to lightning interaction within 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 component uh, cms component as well as uh, between cms component as well as um, uh, custom component and uh, interacting with lightning global events okay let me start with creating a connection before going there i would like to go on to aem how to show like how the structure being designed there so i have created i mean for this demo we have created a page in um, an aem system wherein uh, uh, wherein it's, it's uh, with the static pages so let's see uh, I, we have, this is a capricorn is the one where we created and i'm going to the index.html that is main page and you see this is like a folder structure like any other web application and then you see like uh, this page has three different parts of it one is header and then other one is footer and other one has main in it main main.html so each part of it as a as a service so that returns uh, that that returns, returns the fragment of the header main and footer as well so if i open the page in uh, th this is an aem page this is a page from aem uh, you can see like uh, there's the header part of it wherein uh, you see product services customer menu and then and then you see at the bottom there's a photo part of it and then uh, so like and then body of it so this is where it is now i'm going to while while creating a connection there is a that so you have to be ready like we call this part as a relative url path and then uh, till 450 we call it as a uh, host name uh, so why because while defining a connection we need these details and one more thing uh, to bring out like um, localized content like english and french uh, in am we can say like we can create a folder called en and then you put everything that that's specific to english locale and then you create a folder called french you can put everything in uh, in the respect to i mean everything in a french i mean every uh, content in a french for this demo, uh, we are using AM as I said, like, but uh, this would be the structure everywhere, anywhere, any CMS system provides. Uh, and then I'm jump on to uh, creating a connection. So I already created a connection to make it easier for us. So I'm just loading the existing connection. You see, uh, this is a server URL, as I said, and then I come back to root path and these things. Uh, sorry, uh, this the root path is like. Um, like if you take it in a in a, in a in a system there will be some path which is a common across all 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 fragments like header footer and html that does all put in same folder so we can give a root path to which it is very common and then you see this language is a placeholder very dynamically based on salesforce language uh, so we we have so this been replaced i will I will show you. You come back, go down. There's a language mapping section where you can select what is the Salesforce language and what is the corresponding uh, CMS language. And as well as, uh, so, so this is a CMS language is nothing but external CMS system. That's English and for us. And then Salesforce language for French, it is a for which is there in AEM what just now showed. And coming back to the CSS section. Uh, so every page would be, I mean, any, any HTML page or any, any UI page will have a behind the CSS. But, but there are chances like uh, uh, a scope field is nothing but like, there are chances like there is a collision can happen. Your CSS class has could be collided with Salesforce CSS class or any other class in fact. So to avoid that, you can scope your CSS classes within this and then, and then, and then what happens is, this specific uh, CSS has been applied only for your uh, fragments. And similar to the scripts, uh, it is the same thing. It's, it's, it's a script which are required to load the page. And loading of the script, I mean, you can add multiple scripts up to 10. And then loading of the scripts also matters. So uh, whenever you design a page, make sure uh, they were properly ordered the way you want to be here. And then now, uh, this is pretty much when we create a connection. Now I'm moving on to the builder part of it. If you come back to the builder, in, in any lightning community, uh, there were three sections of the builder. One is header and footer and body. Uh, why I'm uh, telling about header is you can go to uh, you can go to advanced settings here and then select CMS Connect and then you can say straight away what is what is my header content, what is my footer uh, path in the sense not not a content, it's a path. It's like server URL plus root path plus component path. Here it is a header.html or footer.html. So what happens is at the runtime. Uh, at the runtime, when browser loads the community, it will load the header and footer. So, so that's why we given it here, so that header and footer will be loaded first, and then body of the template will be, I mean, com I mean community will be loaded later. 
now i'm closing out and then i come back to i i will drop a another main content of the page i select cms connect html i drop on to to the section and then cms source uh, capricorn is the site which just created and then here it is nothing but main.html uh, this is the one so i'm using the same thing and then you see like the body but html fragment being loaded from from external cms system to here and then now i publish the community now uh, so i open it here we go this is the page and and on top of it we don't cache any of the content every time on user request we pull the content from the external cms system so it's always live uh, and if you change anything on cms system it will be reflected here so so you you write once and then use it uh, reuse the same content that's what the, the actual uh, that's what uh, the been trying to achieve here and now i'm moving on to lightning interaction now let's take back uh, uh, this is the page which 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 I developed in AIM. So here, like uh, the, we want we want the page to be interactive more with other components in the page, or or, or, or mostly like uh, so mostly we want to interact with other components in the page. Let's take an example here. Let's say sign up page on this on this. I mean sign up link on this page. We want this to be open differently for. I mean the sign up page will open when it is in AIM context. It should open in the AIM page. And if it is in uh, lightning context, it should, I mean, it's, if it is in community context, it should open community sign up page. So here I click on sign up page. Uh, so it's it's just to demo. So I thought of showing like, this is the sign up page from AM. So you can see like URL being changed to sign up HTML. So this HTML page is purely, purely from, um, from AM. So now come back to, uh, Come back to Lightning uh, Lightning Community page, wherein if you tap and sign up page, I expect like it will go to Community page within a Salesforce. I mean, sorry, sign up page within a Salesforce. This is how it is. So how it happens is Lightning Community. Let me open up a, a diagram so that that's more easy for. So this is like if you if you take it when you draw a CMS component in 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 Lightning Community page, what happens is. Uh, the context, I mean, it, it will be behind JS and HTML will be loaded within a custom namespace. So why I'm saying custom namespace is custom namespace means uh, because any custom component developed by uh, customer or user can can talk to uh, the talk to CMS Connect component through through JavaScript and at the same time this is CMS Connect component can talk to Lightning event. That's what I'm doing here. If I go back to my builder page, uh, mm -hmm. so. I have created a page called sign up page. Uh, that's what. When user tap on, sorry, it's loading. Yeah, when user taps on uh, sign up, so I am redirecting user to the sign up page. So, so you can you can interact with the lightning uh, in in any any component, custom component developed, or you can interact through uh, lightning events. Uh, that's very much possible mm -hmm. with CMS Connect. Uh, that's what we are trying to um, say. Uh, that's pretty much on CMS Connect HTML. Now I am handing over to uh, uh, Shipra to continue on CMS Connect JSON. Okay, uh, thanks, Jagdish. Um, for JSON Connector demo, I'm uh, going to bring in blocks from a Capricorn website. So this is just a hypoth hypothetical website. You can use any of your uh, site for this. And uh, it has a bunch of blocks on coffee posted on uh, WordPress. And I want to display these blocks in Lightning Community for more customer engagement and information sharing. As you can notice, these blocks are getting displayed in a community, which is uh, done using CMS Connect JSON feature. We provide uh, two types of UI layout for showing the JSON data, content list and content item. Using content list layout, you can show multiple blocks in a grid layout along with pagination support. Using content item, you can show detail of a single blog 
which can be displayed by clicking on Read More on a block card. Before using the feature, there are a few uh, prerequisites, like you need to uh, have course enabled if the resource is made to be not accessible to external sites like our Salesforce community. Get the JSON URL for retrieving content. Here are a few examples on how to get uh, from WordPress. I'm going to focus on WordPress as an example CMS system. However, information translates well to any CMS provider that supports JSON APIs for retrieving the content, like Drupal or AEM. If the site is based on a WP REST API, you can use WP JSON to get the content. If it's based on WordPress.com, use public API WordPress.com format. For this site example, a JSON URL to get the content uh, is this, which is uh, um, added by appending the site in this uh, link. And it's also uh, helpful to preview your JSON response before using the URL to understand the data format of your CMS system. Now that you are ready to configure uh, CMS Connect JSON, let's see step by step on how to use the feature. To set this up in Community Workspace, uh, click on CMS Connect tile, create a connection, enter name, select CMS source as WordPress for this example, connection type as public. For getting server URL, convention used is uh, JSON API is divided into two parts, server URL, which is host name, and remaining is a JSON path. Provide the server URL. Enter um, the uh, connection detail by going to the JSON section. Click on Add JSON. Enter JSON type name, which is used for grouping the content. Create a content list and item by providing JSON path, which is uh, relative to the server URL, and uh, click on Save. Next, move to Community Builder. Uh, there are two components exposed, CMS Connect HTML and CMS Connect JSON. Use the CMS Connect JSON and drag and drop onto any page where you want the content to be displayed. In the property editor, select uh, the CMS source, enter uh, JSON name of JSON content, enter JSON expression for start node of uh, the content. For grid layout, uh, you can specify pagination uh, related fields like item per page or and per column. In card layout, provide a mapping between component layout fields and JSON field of the payload. What that means is uh, going to the uh, JSON viewer of the payload, title of the blog is mapped to title field of the JSON payload. Expression syntax used here is uh, based on JSON pointer specification. And uh, I'll show you a snapshot of uh, using the feature. Like this is a snapshot analysis of JSON response payload and JSON expression for each field. Like author is author slash name, title is title. Uh, going back to the property editor that provides the JSON field mapping by prepending uh, it with add sign, which is a convention to indicate that it's a JSON expression. Uh, likewise, you can define other mappings. Click on, clicking on Save here in Builder Component Instance will automatically create a CMS detail page auto-configured for the JSON type. So uh, with a few simple steps, you are able to bring the content from WordPress. Moving to authentication support. Uh, there are uh, content which are not public and behind certain authentication protocol like this website on WordPress, when you try to access the JSON uh, payload using WP uh, JSON REST API, it gives an authentication error as content access is behind OAuth. To use this endpoint uh, using CMS Connect uh, JSON, first step is to create a name credential from Salesforce setup. An identify type will be name principle for this example, which is admin control and it's not for user based. Choose authentication protocol as OAuth 2.0 and uh, configure authentication provider for it, which is having the consumer key and uh, 
separate based on the WordPress OAuth URL of the website. Then coming to community workspace, you can create the CMS connection, select the connection type as authenticated, and uh, select uh, the name credential which was created in the Salesforce setup from the pick list. Rest of the steps remain same as what I showed you earlier for a public connection. In Communities Builder, after uh, defining the component properties uh, in this way, you can uh, bring authenticated content from WordPress. And uh, so using point and click declaration of the CMS Connect JSON component, you can bring any external content in Communities. For authentication, we also provide support for username, password-based authentication, which you can specify in the authentication uh, protocol as password authentication. If you want public content to go through server-side, uh, say to bypass course restriction, you can use name credential as anonymous and configure rest part in a similar fashion. The next time I'm going to demo flow related to content discovery as being able to search and find content is very crucial. Content shown in a CMS detail page in our Lightning community has search engine optimization, SEO support. So it will get indexed for online search engines like Google, Bing, so that your community users or guest users can easily discover the content via online searches. You can also search for this uh, content in communities using the uh, global search. As a new user, say I want to search the blocks related to Latte. So I would go to the global search, enter the search term as Latte. And in this case, the search result, there is a new tab called WordPress blog, which shows all the blocks pulled from WordPress having the word Latte. This is achieved through federated search. Since the content that is brought through CMS Connect is not stored in Salesforce and is pulled dynamically, from external system, it won't show up in standard searches by default unless you configure federated search. Uh, Salesforce has a built-in support for doing that in an easy way. Federated search is based on open search protocol and most CMS systems have support for it. You need to get uh, open uh, search description, uh, which is the OST URL of the content hosted in external system. Like for this website, uh, if you just go to the view paste source and search for open search, you'll get the OSD URL. Next, go to external data source in Salesforce setup. Create a source by using type as federated search, open uh, search, and provide the OSD link from WordPress. Click validate and sync to complete the connection that will generate the external object for it and um, deploy the object to make it accessible to all external user and guest user. Next, go to community search page, add this external object in global search component, and it will start showing up in, in the global search for the community in runtime. CMS systems like WordPress and Drupal have native support for open search. For REST systems, ho hosted search partners like Covio or Docurated can be used. That provides a hosted search service. Uh, that's all for the demo. Uh, we are now ready to take up the questions. OK, the first question is, is there a trailhead module uh, that I can, I can go through in order to learn more about uh, CMS Connect? No, so we don't have a trailhead module yet for the CMS Connect feature. We have it for the Lightnings, but uh, we are planning that in future. Great, thank you. Uh, this question is for Shipra. What's the support AEM version for CMS Connect? 6.2 and 6.3? OK, uh, so uh, the feature is independent of any AEM version, so anything having a the HTML URL will work with our feature, and it's not dependent on AEM version. So you can use it for any of your uh, production AEM version. Great, thank you. This question is for Jagdish. Is it possible to cache slower loading resources or resources that do not move often? 
uh, so for now, uh, CM is connect uh, the HTML. Uh, there is no caching. Uh, but for CMS Connect JSON, uh, if you use an authenticated content, then 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 caching is there in place because it's a server side call. We could cache it on server side. I mean, we could use existing server uh, caching framework. But for client side HTML, uh, there is no caching. Right. Great. Another question. I would like to know if CMS Connect can be used with Google Sites. Is that possible? As I said, like it's not specific to any exact any any CMS system. Uh, anything hosted. Uh, and any 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 service could re uh, return me proper uh, HTML markup, then CMS cannot can be used. It is not specific to any exact CMS system. So in that sense, if Google site could return uh, markup uh, HTML markup the way it's required, then yeah, sure you can use it. Great, uh, Jagdish, you mentioned cross origin resource sharing. Um, if the request is coming from browser to CMS for content. Does the CMS need to support cores? Okay, CMS content itself uses cores to access external content. Uh, so, so for that, you have to add CMS. I mean, Salesforce in your trusted list of hosts uh, in your course header in your CMS system. Thank you. Great. Please. How do you authenticate to CMS? Okay, uh, CMS itself, HTML, uh, it's it's a public connection, and there is no authentication uh, behind CMS Connect. HTML, where in uh, CMS Connect JSON, uh, there is an authentication as well as public. So uh, you can use name credential service uh, in Salesforce to authenticate uh, the, the to, to access authenticated uh, content from external CMS system. Great. Shipra, can you elaborate on how custom Lightning components integrate with CMS content? Uh, yeah, so that was uh, covered in uh, the flow where uh, Jagdish was mentioning through the event you can talk with Lightning components and along with your external system. So we have a support for that using the Lightning event. Great. What is the best way to incorporate content search engine for content indexing and searching? Uh, I can take this question like uh, the federated search feature that was demoed at the end uh, helps in um, uh, the searching in, in the communities. Are there examples of using CMS Connect with Contentful? Uh, so, so as we, we we have not explored Contentful, uh, probably we explored it, but but we don't have an example right away. But as you said, like uh, JSON or HTML can be used as long as uh, there's there's an endpoint which was return. Uh, like for HTML, it should return a HTML fragment, and JSON it should return a uh, response in uh, in proper JSON format. Uh, as long as that happens, uh, CMS can cannot can be used seamlessly. But yeah, we don't have an example of contentful right away. Thank you. Can we build custom Lightning components to change the layout in which the CMS JSON responses are displayed? Uh, uh, yeah, I think that question. Uh, so yeah, we have built the um, architecture in a flexible way. So uh, we'll be exposing the layouts in coming release, and customer can just write their specific custom component for layout, and that would uh, show up in the pick list for the card layout or for the grid layout. And you can use your custom lighting component. Great. How can we enable CMS in Salesforce Classic environment? Uh, this feature is mainly for communities. And it's not yet at the org level. So it's only for communities as of now. Got it. Do you have a list of all third-party external CMS systems that would work with this besides WordPress and AEM? Uh, along with that, Drupal and Sitecore we validated. And yeah, that works. Yeah, and uh, to add uh, something more, like you can try it with any uh, CMS system that provides you way of getting uh, HTML or G in the JSON content. So the design is like uh, it's not any provider specific. So you can try it with any of your CMS provider that provides this capabilities. Great. Is there support for WebSphere Content Manager? Probably we get back to you, uh, but we don't have an answer right away. Shipra, you have any? Um, I mean, we need to check into if they have a support for uh, JSON way of getting the content or a way to get individual fragments. We haven't tried with the web that's there yet. What are best practices for using CMS Connects AEM personalized content? Yeah, that's a. Uh, 
okay there is a documentation available uh, it's it's like lengthy uh, uh, so it's a lengthy answer for that if you ask me uh, because uh, salesforce has provided a script uh, which you have to use as a connector in aem uh, to get the personalized content so so there were steps written there you uh, you have to use that and then uh, the, that's that's a, that's an answer for me but that's probably release notes has more details like it's a, it's a lengthy answer to give as i said like you have to uh, there is a script given to use the uh, in aem uh, that is a, one of the best practice if you if at all you want to uh, integrate with the cms connect the aem personalization is it possible to show pdf files in cms connect uh, we never tried that uh, but probably uh, we never tried that yeah. but uh, please go ahead shipa yeah i'm seeing that it will work like um, um, uh, any files layout uh, thing uh, the wordpress has a way of getting all your media files so it will work with um, the file types uh, i mean you can have show the files in a list in the ui and then have a probably download link to uh, download the pdf in communities great does the cms connect work for any other asset management sites as well um, that has JSON APIs? Uh, as we said, like uh, any system which returns proper JSON format, that's, that, that works. How many types of layouts are available for CMS Connect JSON lists? Is there anything other than grid layout? Uh, for now, <laughs> only grid layout is allowed. Uh, uh, I mean, only grid layout is supported. Uh, but we are thinking of providing multiple uh, layouts, but probably uh, for now, only grid layout. OK, and this question is for uh, Jagdish. What kind of lightning event was fired from within the CMS HTML? Did the parent component then just catch the fired event? This is uh, regarding your example. Uh, it could be it could be navigate to URL or uh, create record comma events can be fired from uh, from from JavaScript. Got it. Is this free with community class? Uh, it, it's a standard global event of Lightning. Uh, any standard global event of Lightning can be fired from uh, from JavaScript of the external CMS system. Great. For password authentication, does the CMS system need to have SAML or OAuth enabled? Yeah. So, uh, like we support the admin based thing, and uh, that need to be uh, that needs to be enabled. How can you advise on how best to expose HTML fragments from a Sitecore web page? Okay. Uh, it's, if you ask us like how 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 it can be at site for a site core, probably we are not experts on that. But but it's 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 like as I said like if as long as service returns any proper markup, uh, CMS cannot can render that. But if you ask a standard practice at site core, uh, uh, we didn't uh, uh, anything specific. Probably uh, anyone in a site core expert can do that. I mean suggest that. Yeah, and uh, we uh, did a proof of concept for using Sitecore, and uh, the way was like you uh, you make it uh, you change your website to have each of the component as a separate fragment, and there is a way to get the HTML of each of the component in your uh, site. So it does work with Sitecore. How is this different from making a component or Visual Force page that connects with REST to another web service to fetch the contents? And why should I use this instead? Uh, so Visual Force, uh, uh, if the question is about using iframe, uh, so our feature is much more than iframe, along with the security features that's there with Locker Service, like iframes are not allowed uh, with uh, Locker Service. Uh, the uh, uh, Seamless Connect is quite responsive, like it can work based on your form factor, whether it's desktop, mobile, or any uh, tablets, along with a lot of uh, support that we are providing uh, in in the rendering of the content, like a lot of optimization is done for the header and for the load time, like it gets loaded before the, any other content in the page. So it's much more powerful than using Visual Force. Is it possible to use the federated search with Drupal content? Yeah, it's possible. Great. They have, yeah, they have native support for uh, open uh, search protocol, and that works good with federated search. And federated search is only for post or JSM alone, right? It's not for HTML, uh, just to add to Shipra. Can this be used with Salesforce Communities mobile app? Yeah, it's responsive enough. So um, uh, if you configure it, it will work with mobile app as well. Are there any restrictions on CMS content working in specific communities templates? Uh, no, it's exposed in all of the Lightning communities. Great. 
And um, last question. How can CMS Connect enable responsive layout if the CMS HTML response doesn't? The uh, CMS Connect HTML uh, response uh, is also responsive, like uh, the header footer will uh, load fine if an external system. The style sheets are made to be uh, responsive uh, for the form factor. Even our HTML is responsive, and uh, along with the JSON thing. Yeah, the main takeaway is the the style sheet and the external system needs to be uh, developed in a way that it is responsive because we, we just pull the style sheet from the external system. And the final question, is this still beta or is it GA? If it isn't GA, what is the rollout plan? Uh, that's a good question. So HTML feature is already uh, GA and uh, JSON is going to be GA in the coming release. So in spring, we have HTML GA and JSON is going to be um, GA in the coming release. Great. Well. Uh, that concludes today's webinar. Thank you everyone for joining us today. If we did not get to your specific question, please reach us, please reach out to us in the forum, developers.salesforce.com slash forum, or you can go to the community tab and under community uh, click forum. Thank you everyone. Have a great day.